everyone. Welcome to a clip that will make your stomach turn and even have you swell some of your favourite dishes. Come on, don't scare all of yours away. <gasps> you know, but we do these stories as a form of public service. But enough digressing, let's move on. Are you guys ready? In our first story, a woman's mouth was impaled by a 3cm long and sharp object found in a plate of carrot cake. That's gross and painful as well. And the worst part, it is a mystery object. This story was sent in by Stomper Sean, whose wife had the upper palate of her mouth pierced by this sharp object, and it was serious enough that she had to see a doctor who prescribed antibiotics to prevent infection. Well, the doctor also said that it would have been disastrous if the object had pierced her throat instead. The Stomper said that the authorities have been informed about this incident. Now, Stompers were horrified with 75% voting enraged on the mood meter, and the comments mirrored the voting patterns. Stomper whatever SG wrote, my god, that definitely looks like a catfish barb from the upper dorsal fin or a juvenile king crab spike. Lucky thing it wasn't swallowed. Stomper Matthew Ng wrote in with a piece of advice. He said, It's not just foreign objects in food, the cleanliness of the utensils too. Next time, use your hand to touch and feel the chopsticks or spoon, you might find something you can't see. And I actually agree, sometimes you get splinters uh, of wooden chopsticks. Yeah, well that's the least of the worries right now if you compare it to the stories. One of them, which we are moving on to right now, Stomper Melissa almost threw up when she realised the foreign object that she bit on was in fact a disposable dental pick. Yep. <laughs> that, gross. that is truly disgusting. But I'll try, you know, from now on I'll just look at my Hokkien Mee differently uh, and it's not for the better. No, no, it isn't. <laughs> Melissa explained, this hidden treasure was found in packed prawn noodles from the store located at Tan Bun Lian building. The worst part is that it's a used dental pick, the kind you find at pharmacies. I only discovered it when I was already halfway through the meal. I went back to the store to tell them about it, but the store owners were barely apologetic, nor did they entertain the complaint. They just carry on business as usual. I felt like puking when I found it. In fact, I still do now. I will never order anything from them ever again. You know, if it was me, I would have lost it like in a major way. I mean, <clears throat> that is just going too far, you know. Stompers agreed too. Stomper Man United 75 said, should not let the hawker go. Should complain to NEA. They never can, they will never learn. While Stomper Oxford SG said, they should be reported to NEA. That they should. In fact, Nick's story should be reported to the NEA as well. Sent in by Stomper Fishball Noodles, he shares his story of finding a cable tie mixed in with his dish of noodles. He says, I recently ordered a takeaway of fishball noodles at the coffee shop near my house. I was eating it happily at home when I bit on something hard. I initially thought that it was a strand of uncooked noodles. When I spit it out, I couldn't find it. When I did, I was shocked to find a well-cooked and well-camouflaged cable tie into metal sauce. The stomper then spoke to the hawker about the special ingredients in his noodles. <laughs> he recounts, The hawker assured me that he will be checking his noodles, sauces and ingredients thoroughly next time before cooking and informed his suppliers about this incident. Luckily, I did not fall sick later in the day. I can't imagine it if the child, you know, swallowed it. Well, you know, at least the store owner took responsibility for it instead of pretending nothing happened like in the previous story. I have one word uh, from this whole story. Um, sickening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next, we take a look at how you should react if a bloody man approaches you in Malaysia. What? But anyway, I'm grateful we're, gonna, we're moving on. These food stories are getting quite disgusting for me. Yeah, yeah, it's quite gross. Huh?